Hello, uh, this video will be for my R3 Forward AP student, and let's please begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thine womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now the hour of our death, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're studying a particular artist or a particular art type. And I had mentioned before the artwork of Vincent van Gogh or the work of um, the Impressionist. I think I might have mentioned Claude Monet, not Vincent van Gogh. But you want to choose an artist that means something to you that you find particularly interesting and create four different reproductions of four different images. The reproductions can be small, no smaller than 8 inches by 10 inches, but that gives us some room to do more than one and to really explore a series. Uh, behind me, I'd like you to consider two artists. On the painting on this side of the room is a painting by Norman Rockwell, and one that's not really well known by Norman Rockwell, and it's called Mississippi Justice. And if you look at it, it has um, three characters in it. This gentleman on the ground has been shot, this man has just been shot, and he will be shot in a moment by the shadows looming in the distance, or off to the side anyway. Um, this is a true story that took place back in the 1960s with three civil rights workers who went down to the Southland to help register people of African descent who were being uh, forcibly um, removed from voting rolls and intimidated not to vote. Um, these men were shot and killed for helping people exercise their right to vote. Now I chose this painting because it really is very different than Norman Rockwell's style. Most people know his work from the Saturday Evening Post. And I think this shows the evolution of an artist, an artist being changed by his time. It's certainly a narrative, it's certainly an illustration which is in line with Norman Rockwell's style and his subject matter and his interest. Um, but it also is a painting of his time. Now that's one reason to choose it, it's watching a ch an artist change over time, watching an artist's point of view, watching art from a, particularly, uh, a particular time and political situation. We could certainly choose Goyer, uh, May 23rd, as another example um, of someone living in his time and illustrating a moment in his time. But you may choose not to. You can just choose an artist who is visually interesting. Over here, I have a painting by Vincent van Gogh. And you can see, or van Gogh, if you rather, <laughs> the Europeans out there. Um, and you can see this is simply a landscape. And there's a lot to enjoy about this painting, including the... Um, technique of using a surface and using paint that is very thick and sculpted on the surface. There's a lot of physical energy that can be seen and even psychological energy of the artist. And it is a study in color. It's a study of nature. It is a very different type of painting, but many people like Vincent Vigo, I certainly do. Um, and that would work for me also as far as a, a person to study, that someone is um, who has affected art in a very deep way. You can choose your own art, but I am looking for you to produce three or four, uh, sorry, four pieces, eight inches by ten inches at least. Um, again, I want to leave some time here. If I see you studying, and that means you're working in your sketchbook, and many of you need a new sketchbook, they're already running out, I strongly recommend that you look at books and plates of the work. The Appreciation from art from plates is not the same as looking at the work itself. This work is a reproduction, of course. I don't have Van Gogh. Um, but it does help to have something like this large to look at. The plates work much better. Your phone is terrible. It's a wonderful tool. It can do so much, and you should utilize that computer to serve you in many, many ways. Even as references, it is okay. But to look at images online and think that you have an impression of the art or the artist, you're just lying to yourself. I'm sorry. I actually think you need to visit the artwork itself, and I make a point of seeing many museums and go to different um, historical sites because I do believe in it. But if you're going to look at art and study art, then at least get a book and look at plates. Um, this one is the French Impressionist. This would be a style. This would give me an idea of the subject matter, which was in many ways outdoors, nature, people's personal lives. But this is a good starting point. Now, if you're a little overwhelmed with everything, there's a lot of work coming at you from a lot of different directions, and trying to do four paintings, and you're not sure where to go at, and Mr. Fleming helped me out, then please take a look at Japanese print art. 
I personally like it very, very much, and that's why I bring it up. But I also have this book, which is really very, very helpful in many ways, in that I can print out images to help you along the way. Okay. Now, this person is Hokushia, which I am sure I am pronouncing wrong, and I, please forgive me. <laughs> but his prints are fabulous, and they're very, very well known, and they're very different than the Western style. But voila, I also have a printout I can give you right away. So I have a great many Japanese prints all ready to go, and you simply have to apply color as your medium to explore. That would be fine. So if you are not going to do a particular artist or a particular genre, or you don't know what to do, please take a look at this in my room. Um, I also have several books of Japanese art to look at. And again, this is how I want you to do I want you to really study art and explore art and then make your reproductions. So wherever you are in your skill, wherever you are at in your studies, in R3, 4, and AP, you're making four drawings, no smaller than 8 by 10. They can be larger, but no smaller, of a particular artist like Claude Monet or Vincent van Gogh or a style like French or Impressionism or Cubism. And that's where we're going for our project, and that's where we are right now. So remember to make art because art won't make itself.